worshippers prayed for Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi on Sunday after a helicopter carrying Raisi, the country's foreign minister, and other officials apparently crashed in the mountainous northwest reaches of Iran on Sunday. The incident sparked a massive rescue operation in a fog-shrouded forest as the public was urged to pray. Raisi was traveling in Iran's East Azerbaijan province. State TV said it was a hard landing. One local government official used the word crash, but others referred to it as either a hard landing or an incident. Residents said Israeli planes and tanks pounded areas across the Gaza Strip on Sunday. Reuters correspondent Lauren Anthony reports. The strikes came as White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan met Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu amid U.S. calls for a more focused military campaign. Washington worries for the hundreds of thousands of displaced Palestinians sheltering in the southern Gaza city of Rafah and has cited a need not just to evacuate them, but also to ensure adequate alternative accommodation. Israel has been pushing into the city that it says is the last bastion of Hamas forces. For many, it was one of their few remaining places of refuge. Reuters correspondent Lauren Anthony, Hamas is a U.S. designated terrorist group. U.S. President Joe Biden told Morehouse College graduates not to give up on American democracy in a somber commencement address on Sunday while acknowledging their anger over the war in Gaza. The speech drew scrutiny as college campuses nationwide erupted in sometimes violent protest over Biden's support for Israel's war against Hamas. This is VOA News. At least 10 people were killed on Sunday as Russia presses forward with its offensive in northeastern Ukraine. AP correspondent Karen Chamas reports. Paramedics treat an injured man with a head wound from the Russian attack in Kharkiv. Resident Marina Inatova told the AP, Everything fell on us immediately. We lay watching TV. All the windows, everything flew at us at once. Russia's Ministry of Defense said that its forces in the area were continuing to advance into what it called the depths of the enemy's defense. Ukraine's general staff said Russia had stepped up its attacks around Kharkiv and that the situation was dynamic. I'm Karen Shamas. The leader of an attempted coup on Sunday in the Democratic Republic of Congo has been killed and some 50 people, including three American citizens, arrested. A spokesman for the Central African country's army told Reuters gunfire rang out around 4 a.m. in the capital Kinshasa, a reporter said. Armed men attacked the presidency in the city center, according to a spokesman. Another attack took place at the nearby home of a member of parliament who was tipped to become speaker. A shell fired from Kinshasa hit in neighboring Republic of Congo, injuring several people. That country's government said in a statement, adding one person had been hospitalized. Slovakia's prime minister is recovering from an attempted assassination. A deputy says Robert Fico's condition is improving days after the attempt on his life. VOA's Arash Arvasati has more. Slovak president-elect Peter Pellegrini called Slovakia a wounded country, but added that political parties were not yet ready to meet on how the country should move forward. And despite Fico's Russia-leaning government, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky recorded a message in which he called the attack appalling and totally unacceptable before wishing Fico a speedy recovery. Fico's shooting came just three weeks ahead of European Union parliamentary elections. If convicted, the suspect faces life in prison. Arash Basadi, VOA News. Saudi King Salman will undergo a treatment program in Jeddah for lung inflammation, the state news agency said on Sunday, hours after he underwent medical tests. Citing the royal court, the state news agency said the 88-year-old king would be treated with antibiotics until the inflammation subsides. Earlier on Sunday, King Salman underwent medical tests, the state news agency said.
For watching can you do me a favor please leave a comment in the comment section below that would really help thank you and see you again soon <laughs>